Hi guys, I always wanted a small PC for my desk, which should not take much space and fortunately I found something which actually did the trick. So today we have a mini PC here which runs on Windows 10. Yeah, you heard it right, Windows 10. So without wasting any more further time, let's do this. So before we talk about this mini PC, I would like to thanks banggood.com for sending me this PC for review purpose. And the buying link of this PC is in description as usual. So coming back to this PC, first let's unbox it and let's see what we have here. And here you can see the mini PC itself. Then I got the power adapter to power the PC here. Then we also have a SDMI cable to connect it to a display or a TV. And then we have a few screws and a TV mount to mount it on a TV or any display. And last but not the least, we have the user manual. So let's talk about the specification of this PC first. So it has a Intel Cherry Tail Atom Z8350 processor to keep the whole thing running. And the operating system it has by default is Windows 10. Then it has a 4 GB of RAM which is enough and has a inbuilt Wi-Fi and comes with a 64 GB of ROM storage which is a EMMC storage. So let's take a look at the ports and other things. So you can see the vents at the bottom and a power indicator here and then we have a power button here. Then there are two USB 2.0 ports and then on the other side you can see a VGA port for display and then this one is 3.5mm audio output and a Ethernet port here for LAN. Then we have a SDMI port for TV and display and then again we have a micro USB port which supports USB as well. Then this one will be used for power adapter. And then on the other side we have two USB 3.0 ports and a micro SD card slot. So I must say there are a lot of USB ports on this thing. And this is not it. At the bottom we have a 2.5 inch hard disk or SSD slot which could go up to 2 dBs. So you can put a hard disk or SSD and boot the windows from that to get the better performance. So let's plug our wireless keyboard and mouse. Well, I have a regular wireless keyboard and mouse, so I'll go for that one. Well, if you have a regular one, go for that or you can go for these small ones as well. I will put the link in description for both. Then let's connect our display to it. And well, I'm using my 10 inch display and it has speakers inbuilt. So I already did a video on this display. Check out the card section and bang link for that. So we connected the SDMI cable to the display as well. And the last thing we need to connect is the power adapter and turn it on. So to turn it on, you have to press the power key for 3 to 4 seconds. And it will start to boot. And in the first boot, it will take some time. And it will ask you to do some basic step for the first time. But I am already using this PC, so it's not my first boot. So the windows are starting now. So basically it's not very fast, but I would say it took 30 to 40 seconds to boot, which is quite good for a mini PC. Well, I already installed few softwares in it. So first let's go to the web and serve something. So as you can see, it's pretty smooth and it feels like a proper windows 10 PC. Now let's try some YouTube in it and I already used YouTube in 1080p and it worked fine for me. Even I am watching Prime videos in this thing daily. And so far the performance is good. Well I watched many videos and did some surfing on the internet and small works like typing etc and it did not disappoint me at all. But I did not try any games on it but I think small games will run just fine. But I am not sure about the games with better graphics. Anyways, I am using this PC from more than a month. But with normal things like watching videos, reading mails, surfing web, doing Excel, 
typing text document etc and it did a fine job so if you are looking for a pc which is compact and your usages are normal like watching videos doing some journal work then this will be a good pick for you so this takes us to the conclusion of this video and honestly i like this pc even i installed windows 7 on it and they worked fine but the installation process is not easy but you can find it online so from a month i am using this pc as my daily driver and it does all my work except video editing so i would recommend you to buy this pc and even few similar mini pcs are also out there i will put all the links of all those mini pcs in description as well so guys that's all for the today i hope you like this video if you do hit like give me a share and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in another video of mine till then keep exploring Beat drops out. Yeah.